but I know Elvis owned one of these, a 58 Cadillac Brougham. Yes, I understand he did. And uh, these were a really rare car. In 1956, Ford came out with the Continental Mark II, which was a hand-built car, and General Motors would not be you know, uh, one up. Uh -huh. So they came out with the Brougham. The Brougham was a hand-built car, not on a production line as such. And uh, it had a manufacturer suggested retail price of $12,500. At that point in time, you could have bought the next best Cadillac, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, and Chevrolet for less than $12,500. In fact, some homes cost less than $12,500. Needless to say, the car was a little overpriced. General Motors lost about $12,000 on each one they sold because they couldn't amortize the, the, the tools and dies. Uh -huh. And um, they only sold, I believe, a little over 800 of them, uh, of which this is a 1958. The 57s and 58s, the only difference is tri-power in the uh, 58s and dual quads in the 57. The most distinctive thing on these, of course, I mean, there's a lot that is, but uh, the roof on a stainless steel roof, what, what were they, not that they were thinking wrong, but what were they thinking? Uh, one up Ford. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, it, it has suicide doors, the stainless steel roof. Everybody asked me, is this, was this a standard uh, uh, feature on the car? There were no options. Uh, the car was way ahead of its time. It had memory seats, automatic door locks. Uh, it had uh, temperature control air. Uh, the car rode originally on air shocks as opposed to uh, pneumatic shocks. Uh, it was just way ahead of its time and the price is indicative of that and people weren't ready to pay for it. And this came equipped with a vanity set, you said? Yes, it came uh, equipped with an Arpege atomizer, cross pin, uh, and a powder puff and a um, compact, a woman's compact lipstick holder. And then you open up the uh, glove compartment and it's, uh, you have these magnetized cups, brandy cups that will sit on there. I guess that was before uh, DUIs yeah. were not in fashion. And uh, it has uh, a couple other little goodies in there, a paper pad and things, a comb and a brush. And this was, the, today, uh, I mean, that makes the value of the car is if you have the vanities or not. We're, we're, we're talking for, for the, the, the shot glass and for the pen and for the makeup thing or whatever, like fifteen to $25,000, right? Yeah, depending on their condition. It, yeah, it's a lot more than you, it, you would think for just a couple little doodads that uh, fit in the uh, car. Uh, performance on this, were they still uh, like the last one, just kind of a, a luxury, uh, take a while to get to the top end, or were they thinking anything different on performance on this? Well, it's a heavy car to begin with, and I think that, that weights it down, and so it's not a zero to 60 in four seconds. But once you get going, it's a real smooth, quiet car. 